up guys welcome back to another video uh, today we are installing the RS clutch and flywheel I am heading over to my friend Sam's house with the all-wheel drive ST conversion and he's just had a rematch to us so to get some clips of that but we're heading there now our link is Instagram in the description below and I'll leave a little you know that quotation picture shit that I tried to do that, that never works out but I'll try and do it this time but we're heading there now I'm um, just gonna grab some breakfast and some bits and bobs maybe wash the car and then we shall get into the video it's sort of like an install video but depending on the weather and how it goes and how much I can record because I don't want to let Sam do all the work so I am gonna try and get my hands today as usual if I fuck up I fuck up and I'll have to get a garage to fix it but I'm sure us two can do it hopefully in one day so I shall cut to when I am with Sam right guys so we are here at the other car first thing you need to do take all the battery crossover basically just clear the engine bay to get to the gearbox now and take out the drive side sh drive shaft and then the passenger so I shall take three step by step after it Sam is here with me he's currently under the car um yeah so we just time lapse most of it and then get to the good stuff that we do Right guys, so we are taking out the battery, battery going to get to the gearbox mount. Gonna move the ECU out of the way so we can get a little bit more room down here. Took out the low bolt on the frame, the imaging bolt here, so this big thing. And it took the drive shaft bolt out in there. And obviously that drive shaft's loose, so we'll take all that out. I've got a bit of a leak, so yeah. Right guys, so you're just going to take out the drive shaft, drive side, and passenger side, and then we'll come back. You can probably find a video online how to do it, we're just not going to piss us about recording, because you can't really see much, so. So guys, drive dust is out, I've got a slight CV boot leak, so I will replace that eventually. Uh, that is it all there. Just kind of doing the passenger side. Um, so, so far so good. So I shall cut to, well, once we get the passenger side out, I will then cut to what you actually need to do to get the gearbox and all that out. Okay, so catch you in a second. So guys, we have took out the, well, loosened the subframe bolts. So this one, and there is one there. So this is those on both sides. This drive shaft's out. And then uh, we're just taking out the other one now. So take those out and then uh, what's the next step? Um, so the engine mounts off. Engine mount. Which is this one? No, that's gearbox mount, right? Yeah, gearbox and engine mount, yeah. Okay, these things. So this uh, where's the engine mount? Down the back, like all the way down there, below the turbo. Somewhere uh, down there, somewhere. Anyway, I'll get a torch and show you guys after, so I'll cut to that in a sec. Right guys, so passenger drive shaft out. Now we're taking off the coolant hose to drain the coolant, so it's just that pipe there. Probably gonna piss out over there, that's why we've got a little container down at the bottom. And then we've got to take out all this, right? Yeah, and the linkage and stuff, yeah. And the linkage and that, so all of that shit down there. Wasn't too much. Yeah. 
Yeah, what are you doing now? Another cool girl around here. What a lovely sound. <laughs> It all draining out, guys. And I'm replacing this, aren't I, with the silicon pipe kit? Yeah, I think you can so that. that yeah. Okay, yeah, that's one piece. So this is all being replaced as well, guys, as well as these two cooler pipes that run all the way around. And I think there's a rad hose as well, or is that the red hose? Um, or is it this side? Is, yeah, one on each that, side, yeah. yeah. So all of that's getting replaced as well. We're just making a bit more room to take out these bolts. Here they go all the way around. And there's a sensor as well to take out that one there. Yeah, that one, yeah. That sensor, and then give off house in an engine mount. So, shall we cut to, what's the next part of this? Um, After the box, well, box. We are, I'll cut to the part where we take out the box, so. Guys, so we're just taking off these bolts here that hold the gearbox mount, I believe. So just loosening these up, getting ready to take out the gearbox mount. Um, all the kit that seems to be coming out, so yeah. So guys, we're just taking out this bolt here and there's another one there. So when you drop the gear belt, the gearbox, you don't break this bracket here. So I'm just taking that this bolt here, and there's one right there as well. So guys, Sam's just taken out the bottom engine belt in there. And then are we dropping the subframe after or gearbox mount? Um, I think we're just going to drop the subframe ever so slightly, just to get it past the gearbox like here. Okay. So I'm going to sit a little bit lower voice again, so and we've got more clearance to get that out. Now I've seen them we take out the gearbox mount, obviously up there. Here. So, so far so good. Um, gonna replace my CV boots as well another time, or just get brand new drive shafts, just because one of them's already been replaced on the passenger one, and that one's obviously just leaking a bit. So, I'd rather just when I'm running 400 brake, I don't want to have shoddy drive shafts. So, yeah. Okay, guys, so we're taking off. Was well, this the hard pipe? Yeah, it's, it's called a hard, hard pipe. It's called a hard pipe, so there's a box up here. Some there, and obviously a hose clamp clip there, and it's 10 mil bolts, so just take those out. So, guys, uh, engine mounts off, hard pipe, it's called a pipe, whatever, it's off. That's what it's looking like underneath. A lot of mess. Now, taking off the sensor or the holder mount thing again. What's that? Just about crank case sensor, a uh, crank um, position sensor. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So, what's next? The uh, bell housing bolts bell housing. and take off the linkage. Okay. So, what are these bolts? Uh, oh. No, just like a little clip right there you got to pull out. Oh, okay. And then that should come off. Yeah, that's there one. And that one's just like pops off, screwdriver. Uh, so you just need to pop these out as well guys so just from these two little brackets literally just force them out obviously don't snap them but just pop them up and they come straight out so guys we're just taking off the gearbox bolts there obviously hold it together so you can split it and also the bolts here so there's one black one there and then there's one just slightly below it these are like the what bolts are these ones? The throttle, did you say? Uh, the two little ones. The, the, the black, yeah. Just like a bracket for the ECU. Oh, just bracket for the ECU. So you just got to take these ones off. And obviously then these bolts, and they go all the way around, so... 
pretty much where the focus is. So just all the way around. Thank you, boss. See what happens. Yeah, there should be like a pin somewhere. Pull out. Guys, we're just taking off the clutch line as well. But you just got to remove everything. That's not going to snap when you let the gearbox drop down. There's a small little clip down there somewhere. So I'm just trying to get to it now. There we go, take that out and then we're dropping the gearbox. Right guys, so move the wiggle wheel, take the bolts out, wiggle off the starter. There's you, another sensor down there, wasn't there? Yeah, down there. Down there, take that off, obviously take all this out, all the bolts. Currently got the gearbox on a jack and obviously with them um, pull it out. Right guys, so we're just prying the gearbox off. There you go. Out, then we're just gonna drop it down. So, so it's good about a combination of like. <laughs> Remember those like front two that you did, like 15 mils? Oh yeah. Take those, take those fully out. Alright guys, we're just taking out the suffering boat. Oh, it's the ones at the front. Do you want to take it out? Too long, not too bad. Alright, guys, give us out. That's the slave cylinder, isn't it? Yeah, so should we show how to change that first and then cut the fuck and then do the whole thing in there? I don't know the yeah. best yeah. camera angle, I'm guessing that would be yeah, yeah, that's fine. Right, guys, we'll show you how to change the master slave cylinder, is it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the slave, yeah. Yeah. Slave release bearing. Right, we should show you guys how to do that. Do you want to explain it while I do it? Or? Yeah, go on. Then. You ready whenever? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready when you are. Cool. So, 8 mil bolt first down at the bottom, guys. So, just there. And you've got a small clip there. Pull that out. And then pull that back bracket, sensor, whatever you want to call it out. And then that comes out. And then this is the new one that you're replacing it with. So just do the reverse of everything, basically. And that is how to change your slave cylinder. And obviously you put the retainer clip back in. Done. I will then change the camera so you can see how to do the clutch and flywheel. So guys, now we're taking out the clutch bolts. So all of these, there's what? There's eight, isn't there? Six or eight. Six, yeah. So there's one, two, three, four. I think there's six. So take out all these. Okay. 
Vamos a pasar el micrófono. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay, soft at the top. Yeah. Both pieces? Yep. Cool. Uh, so what's this piece? That's the actual clutch. The actual clutch, yeah. Do you want to bring it out real quick? Mm. Yeah, but then I'll go the way of yeah. the engine. Wait, to turn it the other way, so... Stick like right, the front edge of the pry bar over this end and then... Wait, do what? Cross it. Oh wait, just do this. Yep. Uh, can I do it that way? Mm, try the other way, you will hear it in a second. Ready? Yeah. It's just lifting the whole engine up. <laughs> there we go, one's gone. <laughs> Right guys, so we showed you how to install the, whatever it was, the slave cylinder in there. Sam's now gonna put the flywheel on. We're just gonna torque the bolts back up into the gearbox, the yeah, gearbox, mm -hmm. engine bay. And then put the clutch and the pressure plate on, not the ST one, obviously brand new ones. Um, and then yeah, so we're gonna, we've had a quick break, we have to go grab some oil for the clutch as well, but we will set up, we just set up the camera basically and run through it because it's getting dark and I don't want to be here all night. So we're just gonna actually gonna you just did a reverse of everything we just did. So I will leave a description of what you need to talk the flywheel bolts to in the description. But I think someone said 45 newton meters and 65 degree turn or some shit. But I shall leave the link and some spec pages or whatever, blah blah blah. But I'm just gonna set up the camera and you guys can watch what we do. Okay, so see you in a bit. Yep. Yeah, you had to move the wires out of the way. Yep. Right, what am I lining up, sir? So you see, there's like that peg there, and there's also like a peg on the back side of the flywheel. You should be able to just like push it on there on the. You see, yeah. Is that on? It looks like it. Yeah. Let's see. I'm going to try and put a bolt in. Are we going to need the crowbar again or? Should we? Uh, uh, yeah, it might get us to tighten it. Where's the.
Yeah. What are you doing now? Clutch alignment, Yeah. So, um, have you got that clutch bar as well? Yeah. It's cold down here. Somebody help me. Somebody. Once this is all on and the gearbox shell or whatever's back in, put all those bolts on, do drive shafts, then we do the rest of the engine bay. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Like, what, what's the easiest way to do? Like, the throttle and stuff, like, that could be put on last, can't it? Sort of thing. The what, sorry? The, the throttle body or whatever, the throttle starter motor, sorry. Oh, yeah, starter motor can do that later on, yeah. It's not yeah. get the main stuff in and the rest of it is just fucking easy. Oh, there's the oil cooler. Yeah, really? it's on the back of the sun, too. Yeah. I'm actually so excited if we get this done. Sorry? I'm so excited if we get this done. There's two pieces there. Try and like stick it on those pegs. So Put it on the pegs. See like the pegs there. Should be like a hole that it fits through on. Um, should be a snug fit or? Yeah, it should be pretty snug. Just gotta find out which like holes the pegs fit onto. Can I do one at a time? No, I have to be together. Should be. Uh, can you line that up? Okay. What goes what goes on there? So uh, I think there's these holes. Will it be the indented holes? Um, yeah. The smaller of the holes. Yeah. yeah. So, a little bit further round. Okay, my top one's on here. Can you get the other ones on? Your there? top one's on? Yeah, the peg's on here, yeah. Yeah, I've got it. In. They're all in you. But is this clutch inside in line, or do you align yeah, that up? That's what I got. The next thing. I think they're in line. Yeah, they're in these tiny little peg holes. So guys, we're just talking up the clutch and pressure plate. Um, I'm not gonna record too much because it is getting dark. So I'm literally just gonna put the gearbox back on, do all the bolts, do the starter motor bolts, the brackets, the gearbox mount, everything. Just the exact reverse of what we did before. And then go from there. And then hopefully the car will feel brand new. And then I will do then a reveal, like, a review of the elite clutch and shit. So, I'm gonna love you and leave you for now, and I shall resume once it's all done and done. Right, guys, so it's the next day. We're back again. Fucking, it got too dark last night. I didn't get a big gearbox on because it wasn't aligned properly, but we've aligned it properly today. Just gonna take a wheel out chat so it's easier to get the gearbox back in. So I'm just gonna time that pretty much the rest of this video now. So, see you in a bit. Later. So guys, gearbox is on, all the studs are in, just got a bit of throttle body in. We're literally just changing the oil over now, aren't we? Or? Yeah, drive shafts are going in and then oil. We're going to put the drive shafts in and then do the oil. There's a big 24mm bolt. Just there if you can see. So take that out once you've obviously done it. 
pouring the oil up here on this until it starts leaking out under there and obviously then close that up and then fill the rest of this up in here. So you need two litres I believe, don't you? Yeah, two litres. 1.9 litres of oil, so I've got two litres, but yeah, you get the gist, so we'll run through that in a second. Alright guys, like I said before, gearbox on, clutch, cables in, we brought some of these seals, just to get a new one on there. Put new, where is it, CV boots, well, put a new universal CV boot on here, um, we cut the old bit off the old one so there was no spaces in between, tighten that tight, drive shaft's going back in, and we're going to do gearbox oil, clutch oil, whatever, and then we should be done, just put all the cooling hoses back on, and then I will show you once it's done. Alright guys, so we just bled the oil, so you take off that one, take off that bolt, fit it in, when it starts leaking, put the bolt back in down there, it's like all the way down here, and obviously then just do this, we're going to check it again afterwards when the engine's level, but yeah, so going good so far we've only got a couple of hours left before it gets dark so yeah but drive shafts are in both sides this one's in it's just got to torque up the bolts for the drive shaft and then we're done and then obviously then all of the battery and cooling hoses and crossover and whatnot but yeah race against time so guys everything back in Everything in. Time to start her up. Is it right to start her? Yeah. Hopefully. Be no problems. Right. gear as well. Hmm. All good. Ooh. All good, so I'll get some videos of me driving then you can see what the clutch is like, but you won't be able to see this, so you won't really know, but yeah. Right guys, so I didn't end the video. I haven't got any clips. I haven't got any clips of Sam's all-wheel drive ST either. Um, it has been a rough couple of days. I've literally slept. I don't know, seven hours. I think I was awake on the first part of that video. After that, I was awake for about 32 hours. I haven't slept. As I tried to get this car done, I was doing 12 hour shifts overnight at work, and my time in the day was limited, so. I'm literally shattered, I'm so ill. I was under that car with Sam, I don't know how he survived, but obviously the video's a bit cut up, hit and miss, like, it's not all spot on to the T. I mean, pretty much the torque specs are the same. I'm pretty sure they're the proper ones. Um, I did check online, but I'll link all the stuff in the description. Obviously, gearbox oil. I need to re-bleed the clutch. I didn't get all the air out, but I don't have time to record that because it's so dark outside, and I'm, again, I'm doing shifts at work, so I've got no light whatsoever, but there's loads of tutorials online on the Focus forums or even Facebook probably to do, so, yeah. Um, if the video helped please leave a like comment and subscribe any questions drop me a message but if not there is loads of help on the forums for it and i know i keep looking at the camera i'm not too good at talking straight to the camera in the face as you guys know but thank you again for watching and supporting i think we're almost at 700 subs i just hit a thousand followers on instagram so things are slowly coming along 
um, the RS Turbo Build conversion install video should be up soon. I will be doing that very shortly. Um, yeah, I think that is everything so far. And the Wide Arch Kit, don't even ask me about it. I'm I'm trying to wait for the weather to clear up a bit because right now it's just pouring down rain. I don't have time to go outside in the rain, sand down, primer, spray paint, all that sort of stuff, stick it onto a car, and I'm also then using it 24 7. So, once again, by the time and a bit of space and it clears up a bit, we got a nice few days of you know good weather, I will get that done for you. So, thank you for watching, and I shall see you in about a week or two weeks time I don't know when I'm next going to upload because I'm shattered I'm going to go sleep for about two weeks get back to the days when I was in the lab only day one to me all the rest trash y'all made excuses I was making rest stop me like nice child that's too bad why well, you wanna watch your mouth before I pop off in the campgrounds nah uh -huh. Jason wanna rest no doubt but I pop off in the campgrounds nah uh -huh.